Howdy ho, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to game two. Fnatic taking on LGD in game one. Bit of a questionable draft from LGD winter. They still definitely had a shot even after that, but ultimately just, I mean, Mushi had some spectacular individual plays. Black had free farm and anti-mage. Game was always going to be hard, even with some mistakes by Black. Fnatic still keep it together. They take game one. They've got one win on the board, but to go 2-0... That is the dream scenario, as otherwise, you don't get your three points. You only get one. So, in game one, we saw a Broodmother, I believe, first phase banned. But this time around, it is not. And Fnatic will take her nice and early. Did they first phase ban the Brood? The last I game? think so, yeah. Didn't they? I don't remember. I thought it was second phase. Five uh, seconds I, remaining. Actually, I'm curious now. Let me. I'll, I'll try to <gasps> look it up. You can watch over there in the meantime. Sure, uh, why not? Where would it be? What's the best website for this? Can you just go through gamers? Can you yeah, I mean, you can go to the replay, but then no, you're can you just go to the replay? missing the draft. The people, the people will be angry with me, my friend. Ten seconds remaining. LGD versus Fnatic. Let's see. Five they have game one. Remaining. Yeah. Show result. No, go for this. Go for this one. Time. Yeah, first phase. Oh, band. Well, first phase by LGD. Ah. Your legendary memory, it's slipping away. Short term memory loss. Yes. I am, I'm, I am ooze I'm like getting rid of all my Alzheimer's and transferring it to you. Time to pick axe cool. against Brute and Dazzle. Let's go. Let's do this. Chop, chop, chop. Chop them off. Chop their heads. You just want to see some executions. What? Aren't you supposed it, to be rooting it's for It's a legit pick versus Brute and Dazzle. What's wrong? Oh. Oops. Are we running something here? What, it's nagging? A little bit. Uh, okay, seems to be better now. So, Ember gets banned. Uh, maybe special. Shadow Friend also removed. So we're going to see uh, at least one kind of different core here out of LGD, it looks like. First pick out of this phase will be LGD. So you think it's just Axe? See your, Axe is good. Your go-to pick? Axe or Baratun. Spirit Breaker Ten seconds versus remaining. the Brute. Mm. The illustrious Luminous is Five seconds yeah, stopping by to watch you in action. See if he can help with your memory. This is game no, it's game three. <laughs> oh, you're so clever. <laughs> <laughs> that is not that funny. You should not be so proud of yourself. Especially since it didn't even work and Lumi didn't even fall for it. <laughs> <laughs> really I, need that I, I tried. Yeah. By the way, guys, Winter was like falling asleep waiting for game two. We've had a long day here. He's not good at adjusting to jet lag either, so thank you for being a trooper, buddy. But LGD, they go for the bounty hunter. Still don't have that hero to like run down a brood, and in fact they banned the spirit breaker, which many teams enjoy picking up as a, a hunter. If you don't want to pick Spirit Breaker, you have to ban it because like, Spirit Breaker plus Brute together would be very, very difficult to deal. <laughs> you know, because Ten I talk about, I actually found, I actually thought of the right term to explain the Brute. Five what? I found the right term. What's the term? So basically, the right explanation would be when you pick Brute, Reserve you force time. the enemy to cage the Brute. The Brute will be trapped in a cage with the three heroes. The three heroes are the cage on the enemy team to shut your Brute down. So you need to make a rotation to free the brute out of the cage. That would be the Spirit Breaker. Unleash. Unleash the brute Unleash out of the cage. The mama. Night Stalker. So Here's a hero that can help break her out. It's the Vampire. This is a dirty, ugly draft. You've got your disgusting face paint man, Spider Mama, and now a Vampire Daddy. This is a nice little trifecta. Very good pick versus so the... So why uh, do you think they take the bounty over like a Night Stalker? Just for track? For the brood? Yeah, bounty is, I mean, easier to lock down the brute, right? Compared to N but NS, you need the agonies, obviously. Yeah. But then again, if you ask me, I would have actually Five chosen <laughs> Speed Breaker. <laughs> yeah, that's why I'm surprised <laughs> they banned it. <laughs> I grab Gyro, some decent clear for the spider lanes. At the same time, not a hard counter by any means. And they, they still need their initiator. Unless we're going to see some sort of crazy offlane bounty hunter, but that, uh... That doesn't seem to be very popular nowadays. Yeah, like the thing is, like support bounty hunter isn't really good against a brute in the start. You know, you don't actually do sh do anything with this brute in the lane, and you can't clear spider links. 
There's Splinter Blast, which is also decent. I mean, they have decent Spiderling clears, but, but that's you, not always uh, the thing with Brood. Have you ever actually, you know, thought about the Brood's biggest thing in the game? It's not exactly the Spiderling sometimes. It's oh, about, no, I, I agree yeah, with you. You have to kill the Brood, you know. Killing the Spiderlings is not... I, I, I completely agree. Seconds. But that's all they have right now. They're only really good at killing Spiderlings, <laughs> not not the hero. Five seconds Plus they magically remaining. have a Blink Dagger on Wyvern. And they already have track on her. And Lina and as you know, they have so much heroes that can actually create distractions. Force rotation so that the brute can actually have space to farm or even make the rotation to actually unleash the brute out of the cage that she's gonna be put in against three heroes. I think the Wyvern, Gyro, even the bounty might even I mean you don't really wanna do that as bounty to stay in the brute's lane. You wanna be helping your queen secure her lane and even help the other lanes. Alright, so what is your profuse? So you mentioned Axe. Other options include Sand King, nah, Legion Commander. Are they actually even still going to go for Axe now? If they go for Axe now, the Gyro has to go off lane. Reserve Would that time. even be ideal? I guess you pressure, you try to do like Gyro Wyvern. First the Brood? No, I mean, if you do Axe, you, you, you have to lane Gyro plus Wyvern on the off lane. Yeah. And the Axe plus Bounty, I mean, Bounty is like roaming. Not sure though, feels a bit. Every time I see a gyro going to off lane, it, it seems to never work out well. Or why don't they just, rather than trying to lane counter the brood, just pick like like a Sand King, for example, just send him off lane. Stack the jungle. You know, bounty maybe ganks bottom yeah, once. Yeah, and ROTK sort of likes to pick Sand King. Or I mean, even pick Batman. Yeah, but Batman is bad versus NS. No, 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 no. I, I, I have the it's because of the vision. I have yeah. the experience of the vision thing. It's, it's just. You, you're useless against Nice Docker. Ka ka. That's the ban out. Oh. Why? I don't really see. They have this guy, so you, yeah. you, don't, you don't want to give Articuno and Mochus together on the same team. <laughs> Who's Zapdos? Does Dota have a Zapdos yet? Razor. No, he Axe. doesn't fly. And it's the angry redhead man. A red faced man, I should say. I was expecting this pick like a lot earlier, though, but it still happened for them. I, I don't I, honestly I feel like there's no way LGD would have gone for a Phoenix. Yeah, it's good with the Wyvern, but they need catch for the brood. Yeah, and you have Dazzle plus Brood. So X is like a natural pick versus the two of you know, the two of that. Now they have now they have to add an electric now, now bird they to have, the game. Now, now they have a problem right now Ten because Brood is gonna remaining. have some trouble. But then again it's gonna be a gyro Five wyvern off lane. So I feel like even if Brute has a tough time against Axe, you go for, you know, that, that build, you time. go for the bite build, the incapacitating bite build. You don't, you don't really go for Spidings early. You go for the poison, the Orb of Venom plus the bite, and you just try to own the Axe in the lane. And you do maybe a defensive lane with uh, Dazzle plus... Maybe you roam the NS. Is this a... And then Dazzle is plus this a carry Lina or support? Do you think? No, it's carry Lina. Okay. Or you, you think they might actually do as, uh, NS mid? And support Lina. Mm. I don't think so though. Against Queen. I think you do Lina against Queen. NS support. Dazzle plus Ten one safe lane. Remaining. PL? Red more? Okay, maybe not. That's Gyro and X. Hmm. Interesting. So they have. But this is weak so versus X. You're weak versus X. It's a black special. This it is definitely a hero he enjoys. You know, as much as he has been accused of just being obsessed with farming, he, he likes yeah, these but combat heroes. Huskar, this Pudge. Is this, no, think about the lineup. They have Queen, and they have Axe. These two heroes are really good versus Huskar. Pick what you like to play. And they have... This is what he likes to play. Pick to your strengths, not to counter your opponents, Winter. You, you need a right we balance. We discussed you, this. You have to pick to your strength. That's number one. But then you can't always just pick what you want. You have to always consider what is good right now. At the so same what time. are the lanes going to be? So They're going to do off lane gyro Huskar with... Huskar mid. Huskar mid? Oh, no, Mushi's on the lane. No, 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 okay. no, no. They might... Hey, wait. They might actually Oh, so it's... Okay. So wait, yeah, Mushi seconds. mid. I think you want Lina versus Queen. Lina versus Queen and Huskar safe lane. Yeah. Versus gyro. I mean... Unless they try to dodge that uh, axe versus... Brood I match, don't though. feel... I, I don't know. I think Huskar might have a tough game. Because this... All these heroes Prepare are for not that bad uh, versus LG, uh, versus the Huskar. So you got pure damage from the co -op, and then you, move you, speed you just need to make sure you get the nuke from the queen and then the culling blade after that. You can even even use the curse to make sure he doesn't armor toggle and you get the culling blade. 
It's, it's actually one of those few games. Like, normally, Dazzle nah, Huskar is amazing. This but is not this yeah. game. Not this game. I agree. Matchup wise, it's not X great. X counters three things in their draft. It counters the Brute. It counters the Dazzle. It counters the X. It's not like they didn't see it coming. <laughs> nope. That's for sure. That is weird. But we'll see how they actually make this work. I mean, if your Huskar is far ahead enough, it might still work. Because you are ahead and you don't really. Yep. Well, and they're, they're also dire. Brood really helps secure the Roche, so he'll probably have an early Aegis. Hmm. It can still snowball in the Huskar's battle. favor, but I, I, yeah, I agree with you, like, the hero matchups are bad, but at the same time, if Huskar gets ahead, like, some heroes that quote-unquote counter him are just food anyway, so. We'll yep. see. I kind of expect the Brood to go for the, the bite build this game, with all Venom to actually push. Well, he, is that a Soul Ring recipe? Mm-hmm. Okay, then he's probably not going for the bite build. For the bite build, you want to have poor man shield plus all of them. The oof. I haven't, I haven't seen anyone do this build. I know you've talked about the it before. What? Haven't, didn't we see that against Legion? The game we were, the group game we were passing? Mm. Oh, was it, wasn't it Mag? I don't think so. I, I remember one game we saw that build. It was against Legion Commander, and he won the When lane. was that? Was that recently? At the house, dude. At the house. Well, yeah, we cast like for three weeks at the house. It, it was a recent dude. game. Dude, it was a dude. recent game. I don't remember. Yeah, but I, I'm pretty sure we saw one game that uh, that someone did that. And he won his lane. The oof plus incapacitating bite and it was against Legion Commander. So maybe he's getting a little beating on the mid lane. MMY gonna show up and try to equalize the score. Mushi. This game had a, an explosive mid game performance. Didn't dominate the lane, but just had the great decision making execution later on. So it's gonna be that gyro off lane. Not a whole lot of support. Oh, Dazzle is ditching now. Ohio just TPs himself bottom. But He's this is what we uh, saw this before, and th we saw this exact same thing before winter. And you got very upset because you said the dazzle should not be coming to the broodmother's lane. It's like level five or six. Uh, actually level four or five. I think he has enough fighting army. But then again, I'm thinking why he actually go for this build because of the dazzle he wants. But then we saw that happen. It was against the axe. I saw it was against it was BP. the exact same situation. It was the yeah. same situation against an axe. It doesn't work. Yeah. Will it be better this time? Man. This time it might be better because the X didn't have support. The last time when we saw this, the X wasn't alone. He, yeah. had a, he had a support in the lane. That's true. So it wasn't it wasn't a two v one like laning phase. But I am looking at the gyro seven and seven already in the off lane. Oh, Met taking quite a bit of damage here, maybe. But at the shadow strike already, that's gonna be all he gets. Yeah. But right now. I mean, the main reason why I said it wasn't particularly ideal because you want to give solar experience to the boot. Yeah. So the boot reaches for level 4, level 5 now when you can actually get a really big kill bomb off with the Dazzle to actually get a kill. But right now, they're still doing quite well but because of the fact that the Axe is alone. So the Dazzle is able to zone the Axe back. So at least your Dazzle isn't... Like, his presence in the lane isn't wasted. It's not like that game. That game was like 2v2. So you can't really push the Axe out of the lane by having the Dazzle there. And your Dazzle is not actually pressing that much, so it was a waste that game. But this game, I think, the Dazzle can actually push the Axe out of the lane and help the Brute Mother. I can't believe how much Black is struggling here. Though now, I guess with the Dazzle gone, it makes a little more sense, but this is an awful start for a Huskar. 5-0 and to the 15-8 and of Silar. And it did start as a 2v2, though. It's not continuing They felt much. like they couldn't win this lane, though. That's the reason why he ditched. And they were prioritizing more on helping, like, Night Stalker was roaming mid. Now he's stacking for mid. It's more like a, a shaker with the Lina. That's the playstyle that NS is actually using right now. So focusing on helping mid, getting stacks done. They have to observe a uh, sentry boss even for the bounty hunter. And Brute is obviously doing just brute things with the Dazzle against the Axe. And the Axe only has CS right now. Black will be forced to TP himself home. The Legendary laning prowess of Huskar. We're not really seeing it right now. I'm here. He only has three CS right now. And he already got sent home once. Poor guy. Okay. Casual point in battle hunger. I don't really see that much battle hunger anymore. And they're making the move. The two big roaming heroes. Who's going to get the overall first kill? Mushi barely brings down DDC. He will pay though, so it's a support for I'm mid. Sorry. Did but you say got the first mid word. at least gets the first one. Um, it's very, it's probably more or less even because he traded a support for Lina, and the, but the Lina got the first blood. 
ITK does get his call up here, drags the, the spider lanes back. Oh, where are his items? Oh, well, he's only got 3 CS, so. No, but he has like 600 gold before that. He bought something. Uh, just boots. Radiance bottom tower he's is a poor under fella. Radiance so the dazzle rotation was really, really good this game. It turns out. So this is an incredibly fast tower. Yep. How do LGD adapt after losing this so early? Radiant's bottom tower has mm. fallen. The other lanes are doing well though, so I think that's like a trade-off they are actually getting from this, but if you are looking to help the axe, you are probably gonna have to send the I can't see the bounty helping the axe now. It's only the Y one that can help the axe and obviously the queen when she reaches six. Do you feel like there's a pressing need to gank Chrissy or are you just okay? Yeah, I think you need to. You need to actually elevate the pressure regardless of what you're doing because the axe cannot stay in the lane one we run now because he's behind. When the axe is on even terms, obviously you can do it, but he's very far behind right now. The other thing is let's Fnatic be greedy. Like Ohio can just sip out on farming because if you get aggressive and the brood shows up with their army, you're probably just losing two, three heroes. So they're jungling with the brood. They're farming the lane with the dazzle. They're getting way more off the map right now. After that tower drops. I mean, I guess the bad thing about what they're doing right now is Black doesn't have support, so he has very minimal farm from the lane. That is like the only drawback they are having right now. The good news is for Huskar to start having impact, you just need armlet. And that is a very easy item to farm generally. But god, he is poor. Maybe. Getting caught out a bit, man. Mushi. Oh. Close call. Can't quite get the job done. Another rotation comes in. Oh. Splinter Blast action, the follow-up's going to be there. They try to slow him down, courtesy of the Arctic Burn. They don't have the lockdown. We'll make it back. Yep, but for Huskar, it's like he's also a hero that needs to be a hit from the start, right? Even though he needs very minimal to be useful, but he can't, he's not a hero that does very well when he's behind. If you fall behind too much, it's very, very difficult for the Huskar. DDC going in Viz now. Looks like there's no detection on Fnatic. Can't really punish this movement. And this is our first nighttime winter. They've got good wards up. They have control of the enemy jungle. Huskar's getting a little breathing room. Fnatic. I wouldn't say all according to plan, but they're still in relatively good shape here early on. And the question is going to be, where do they go next? <laughs> ah, well, they'll go on to mid. I had the blink. Didn't use it. Down he goes. A little surprised. I mean, he, he saw that coming as well. He had the ward. Yeah, I guess he just didn't expect him... He probably expected like a United. stun attempt yeah. or something. He didn't expect to get Laguna like from that distance, I guess. So now the, let's see if the Queen actually starts to go to the Axe lane to help him out. He does have his Tranquils, I believe, at least on the Axe. And oh man, this is not good. When you see your Huskar getting bullied just by auto attack by a Gyrocopter, it's like it's the first kill. He's gonna TP himself home and it's only a level 1 poison touch. It doesn't really matter. Gyro solo killing a Huskar. Okay, that's actually a bit of a disaster. Yep, that's definitely not ideal for them, but at the same time, the, because the axe is very far behind, so I mean, you can say that it's sort of like a trade off between the axe, having a poor axe, and versus having a poor Huskar. They are both equally bad because axe, you need the dagger to actually do stuff, and whereas for the Huskar, you need to be able to at least farm your armlet before you want to be more participative with the team. So both of I'd the rather have an Axe who's behind than a Huskar, though. Mm. Especially as the game goes later. Like, if he doesn't snowball, obviously Axe is going to do yeah, way more for his team. Yeah, but then Huskar without... Like, Huskar is behind. is also really bad, though. No, I'm saying it's worse for Huskar. I'm saying Axe can oh, still... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's worse Axe for can still bring... Yeah, yeah. I, I, I think we're agreeing with you. I, I, I thought you meant that you'd rather have a poor for a, for Huskar. Axe. No way. No, I'd rather have a poor Axe. Mm. Anything. <laughs> He can still duck pulls. More importantly, he can just click call. <laughs> Very nice. Yes, also, Axe is a better comeback hero because yeah, he can farm. They stack. need a plan to somehow help the Huskar get back into the game, like through the brute maybe. Brute needs to pressure a lot. Like, what are the brute items this game? Mm, stat based items? Early Orchid. Uh, actually, Early Orchid could be really, really useful this game because there's a Queen, there is Gyro as well. And Wyvern, obviously, a hero that Orchid can actually screw him over. So what does Chrissy go? Does he is he building into Orchid? No, nope. he's taking time to decide what he wants. I really like the Midas pickup. Uh oh, DDC, playing with fire, quite literally. Yeah, 
like sometimes you don't really know what you want so Midas is like an item that gives you time to think about oh maybe this is actually a good item sometimes you're not really sure because it's, it's still very early in the game Brave is available, Hayo gonna use it, immediately retreats out, DDC thinking about getting active there and will Shuriken prevents the TP gets the kill still not track online yet, this is buying a little time also bottom for RTK and look who's zooming in Yep, he's going for Orchid. In the position. Spider Lynch trying to slow RTK down, just poking and pecking away at him. He's actually close to a Blink Dagger now. This is an awkward time to dive, though there is no ultimate on DJ, so it's hard to tank this RTK. How many spins will he get? Is it enough to win? No, it's not. Down he goes. Didn't quite get the RNG. Yeah, and backup also arrived way too late because of losing the early tier one. So as a result of that, the lack of map control on the bottom side of the map allows that pick off to be actually successful for that fanatic if you have that tier one that gang would actually not happen because your team can actually come to eight very very quickly so we're gonna need to stack and help our tk get his blink at this rate he's gonna have a fairly reasonably time playing as they yeah it's not by they any did make their jump top killing off black it's not by any means like a bad time that he's gonna get because of the stack but it's still gonna be slowed down yeah, this huskar is just getting massacred He's gonna like get killed by the axe as well. Like axe is gonna get his bling much faster than his armor. So been on top, looking for Ohio. Gets off the grave though. The poison touch gonna bring maybe very low. Not low enough. DDC will be the man to complete the kill. Now cracks level six. Should be spinning up that track any moment. And same moment on the mid lane. There's the call from RTK. Spin and chop. Oh, that's his dagger. That's how it's done. Rude with the early Midas grab. And now Black wants to counter this. He's gonna dunk in. Commits heavily. Oh. Troll on Axe action, but Quap says no sorry. maybe with the double. Jams it in, gets two quickies. Did, how, how, did he actually manage to get the blink before that? Or did no, he only had 2,000, I think. Oh, he actually still got, oh, because of the assist onto the other heroes. Yeah. So he's actually, he actually got his blink now <laughs> when he respawns. Yeah, he wasn't actually that close before, but I think it was like all reliable gold, more or less, at that point. Yeah, he was really close to 2100 before he died, and then with the assist goal he got from, I think it was the Huska. So he's really, like, he has his bling now, basically. And now, uh, things start to... Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That's not good. That is never good, <laughs> when you see that. I mean, you know, you saw the, uh, the Huska winter, you didn't like it. I don't even know if you could have predicted it would go this bad in the lanes. Like, it was much more... It's going to be tough for I Huskar mean, we, later we, we on. I mean, we knew the lanes are going to be like that. Like, we even mentioned that it's going to be an off lane Gyro from it. Splat. That was actually a splat. Gyro just giggling to himself as he walks away. You still do have it, Silar. Hell of a player. So, let's see. ROTK, where are you going to go right now? There's no Sonic Wave, so I guess the easiest lane to gank is the, the cooldown, Gyro's lane. The cooldown has a very fairly short cooldown, so Gyro has the biggest amount of uh, bursts right now from all the heroes they have. 12 and a half minutes in, things looking good, RTK! Oh yeah, I'll, t I'll take that. What is that, 400 gold? And he's level 11 now. Yeah. Damn, he's high. Is he, he's higher level than the Queen? He's... The Queen's level 10. He's level 11. He's the highest level in the game, tied with the enemy, Lina. <laughs> After losing his tower at, like, 5 minutes. Yeah, X. Hell of a hero. They get off the call down. Nice reaction by Silar. And then runs away, starts to kite net a bit. The Duck Lord is moving into position. With the track, they've got the vision. Why isn't he going on to the NS? No, he goes on Ohio instead. He's going to jump the Dazzle. This could be maybe the more important kill. Prevent that grave, I suppose. But he's always got the chop to deal with it. RTK, silent stuff. We'll end up going down. They allow the Night Stalker to live and walk away. Mushi, missing with the stun. Then the rock Brush pummels him right in the kisser. Now a curse. Maybe committing for more. Brings net low. This could be a track kill as well. He pops darkness. Wants to retreat. Turns for the void. Not going to happen. Maybe with the triple, and all of a sudden, Fnatic are flat out crumbling. They lose their Huskar again. He still doesn't have an armlet at 13 and a half minutes, which is incredibly late. By normal safe lane Huskar standards. And Brood, uh, I don't know. Feels like she may have to 1v5 at this rate. Brood is not a 1v5 hero. No. Just saying. Definitely not. But that's I don't know why, who else That's is why they don't feel the Huskar this game. Like, 
it's really tough for him. Like so normally, when you pick, even, that's, that okay, is the thing. When you even, pick a brood, you normally pick someone who can really use the space. Oscar normally creates space. Doesn't even if he has a good start this game, he's running into heroes that can deal with it. Yeah, let's be honest. But yeah, like you want to have a safe laner that actually takes up a lot of space and just pushes and is a strong player in general in the late game. And they have Lina as a mid hero that doesn't like do a lot of physical damage. Set up, good ambush here, and Mushi gets it done with a nice solo kill. Oh, that's, well, that's, that's, from the brood, that's a big streak though, so one, like, almost one K game. That being said though, RTK initiates the call down coming through, and Fnatic again get laid out, chop chop! Axe is back. So too is RTK. The rumors of his demise, greatly exaggerated. Where are you now, Xiao8? Where are you at, homie? You were making the rumors, you know. <laughs> oh, I'm just having a, fun, a little fun here. I think he's actually casting this game. I saw him casting earlier. Him in 4.30. I we really wish I spoke Chinese. That would be an interesting cast. Have you ever listened to this? Other times. It sounded like they were flaming pretty hard. Sometimes. We were less than impressed I with Digital Chaos earlier. I actually like to listen to the Chinese LD. Lao Dang. Lao Dang? Is yeah. he good? Yeah, I think he's... He's, he's nice. Is he listen. better than me? Yes, he is. Oh. Ouch. He's my Chinese brother from another mother. <laughs> People actually got really confused when he got invited to his first TI, which I think was TI3. And, and then you were trolling everyone because you were saying that it's you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And no English casters had even been invited yet. Well, apparently Chuan was getting in on the action as well. Why are you guys listening to us? We're noobs. Those are some, those are some TI winners there. Eh? Why are you giving me that bump? <laughs> are, are they not TI winners? <laughs> yes, they are. I appreciate your insight anyway, even though you don't appreciate mine. I appreciate yours. I, I just appreciate the Chinese version of you better. Oh, uh, okay. Fair <laughs> enough. There can only be one Lao Dang. I am Lord Dang. And <laughs> This is not looking good at all for that. I don't know what they're doing. This, do. this game is literally falling apart in like five minutes. Huskar's useless. Look at this. Why, why, why? Everyone's useless. I mean, they, it's not like they didn't know about what LGD were picking as well. Uh -oh. They, they picked Huskar into this. Uh, nice little retaliation though. Somehow Fnatic did manage to find the Creed of Pain. And, oh god, I'm missing kills everywhere. Now the Winter Wyvern. Getting they have to off. rely on all these other heroes to actually do a lot of work because Huskar is not going to do much. Alright, that's three in a row. Jesus Christ. Winter. I'm, I'm taking over the camera control. See you. Right. You, 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 me. you take a break. Let's go to the middle lane. Let's go to... <laughs> Just kidding. Yeah. Sorry guys, we got, a, we got a bunch of stuff going on here. Let's try to step our, our game up. And we got distracted by... Somebody. By somebody. Some very <laughs> rude person. Yeah, she Guys, everyone just at Cheever Gaming. Let her know you're not happy with the camera control. <laughs> Chop! Alright, we found that one. Oh, they moved over. I don't think I've missed three kills in a row in like a, over a year. That was pretty bad. <laughs> we broke the streak. We broke the streak, Winter. Shit happens, you know. I, got, I, fl I started flaming. You see, like, my camera control improved. Clearly, the solution is to flame even more. So we talked about the early OK from Brute, but did she actually get any solo pickoffs? Like, she got a couple of kills, but it wasn't exactly solo pickoffs. So I think he needs. But to what build. do they do when the five? You need happens. to build carry item for the Brute to be able to participate. Get like your what? Like your blank. Dyer's middle tower is under AC? attack. A blats, blats AC. Get maybe a Daedalus in the mix. What do you? Daedalus? Yeah. On Brood? Not as the first item. Later. You need, you need stats first. Yeah, 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 not as the first item. <laughs> it's a very squishy little spider. Gonna try for that Roshan again. Chris, he's gonna have to carry this one himself, it seems. Yeah, he needs to carry his team. But Brood is like not a hero that you can easily carry. One Especially five. not this game. Like, let, ima Let's imagine it's a six-slotted Wyvern, magically. You six slotted Wyvern? Or Wyvern? Brood mother. Brood mother. Uh, anyway, imagine a six lot of brood. They can still curse him, call him, and completely control him. They get the Queen of Pain all up and out as they look to engage with the axe. He gets thrown up in the air, prevented from getting off this call, but then the Winter's Curse comes through. And time for the chopping session. One down, need the guillotine, Ohio. You're gonna be next. Oh, nice shallow grave, buddy. Hey, see you later. 
That's three. LGD. I'll take the Aegis too. Unless Chrissy. Oh! That's what about it. He snatches it and he too will die no, a second time. Doesn't matter. Get ready for chop number four. Call. Nope. He gets off the silence and. Well, they tried. It was a good effort. And the effort is over. I'm not sure about the strategy to chase this game. Mm. Yeah, that wasn't even important that the brute snatch the Aegis. It actually feels like Fnatic have been having a lot of problems with, with strategy, with why, drafting, why, with, I don't understand with why lane assignments, like all the Marana picks in the qualifier where she just, and even like the item build on the Marana, I, I don't know, they're, I just feel like they don't have what is a the, consistent I'm, I, I'm vision for their team. I'm struggling to understand why they attack. I think because Black is like, pick Huskar, pick Huskar. No, uh, he's not like that. Jenny does that to make him once again. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> Can't argue with that. <laughs> I, oh, he definitely does it more with Andrew Age, that's for sure. No, I, would, I would be curious to know what the discussion around it was, though, on a, on a serious note. I'll, ch I'll check on them later, and then I'll come back to you. Alright, well, let them, let them recover a little bit. They probably won't be too pleased after this game. Yeah, not a good idea to go forward and ask him. Hey Just guys, run right up to them. Well, 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 guys, why did you pick Huskar? That was a terrible pick. By the way, Mushi, you want to get dinner? <laughs> I don't think that's a good way to endear yourself to the players. Let's go for chili crabs. I'm gonna ask him later. Winter, you know, someone in chat has an interesting suggestion. Is it maybe time for a certain sub to help out his team in a time of need? Should uh, a wild winter perhaps enter the field of battle to aid Fnatic down the stretch here? Conver coming back. Conversation ended. Discussion ended. Let's move on to the game. Radiance top tower is under <laughs> okay. attack. Fair enough. Sorry, Fnatic. You're shit out of luck. <laughs> Sub doesn't want to help you. <laughs> oh my god. Our TK has 3,000 gold. Let's go. Mm. Zap. Straight, straight eggs. I mean, what do you? <laughs> blade mail. Uh, I guess we could get blade mail here. No, I'm thinking about zap. Oh. <laughs> He's tired of being instant used by Lina, so BKB. I mean, I guess it's good versus like NF as well. Are you really trying to justify the Dagon? <laughs> no. The, the 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 Huskar counter Dagon. <laughs> Does it really matter what he goes for now? Dyer's middle no. tower he always just Dagon him first anyway. Uh, Blinken, I'll find Ohio, tracked up. That's a five hero chop. Yep, I'll make sure to click my free gold RTK. Desperately padding his stats line here. Nine, three, and three. He's got a chop and he wants to use it. I mean, Chrissy is trying his heart out, man. I just, there's only so much a mama can do. <laughs> Calls there, fighting. That was a good one. Five <laughs> hero track kill again. LGD, they continue the siege. Laying into Fnatic, looking for the quick GG. Every time RTK jumps, it seems there's another kill, and he is, in fact, going for the BKB. Get silence. This time, he will be slightly rebuffed. But only for now. They still have the Winter's Curse. Fall down, fully down in 20. Why back? There's only one way, and that way is forward. Dice, then everyone runs. Do they even need to back now? No, definitely not. Lina down. Oh, that's a safe map. <laughs> Sala goes back to clear out the wave at top. Uh, Roshan is going to take a while to just kill it. I mean, I guess the thing is, LGD are going to get a round of huge items. Butterfly, DDC can get, I don't know, whatever he wants. Glimmer Cape, Force Staff. Vlad, we'll see. RTK. No, DDC is playing the bounty. Yeah, that's my son. DDC. Because you were clicking on the Wyvern and you said that he's going to get a <laughs> Glimmer Cape. I thought you think that DDC is playing the no, Wyvern. No, no, the Wyvern already has one. He's got a one flying out right now. Hmm. Yeah. What else? May <laughs> like Glim I guess given some of the brain slips today, it's not surprising. You have zero faith in me, Winter. Come to expect nothing less. Tyler will get caught out top lane, but he's got the butterfly. He's tanky. He actually can't be killed by the brood. The brood is dead, is he? Do I have a gem? Did I actually pick up a gem? Do I have a gem? Do I have a gem? Oh, TK, does he have a gem? No. No gem. No dust? No gem? 
Who cares? Just track. Ignore the brood. She's useless. <laughs> Alright, they got the jump. So Very reluctantly though. That could that's that could have been tower. good money Zander's spent towards attack. a bug zapper. So we have a Huskar who's 0 and 5. One assist. Has literally done nothing this game except die. Check out his net look. Yeah, he's paying for it. Tower has fallen. And it was, a, it was a last pick Huskar too. Normally the last pick Huskars are the scary ones, you know? Like it's the fifth pick, they're not ready for it, and you just wreck face. You remember when we saw the last pick Huskar? Like, what? Not this game. No. I mean, and we were like... Well, this was like, what? In the wrong way. The bad way. Yeah, and, but we still like watched the game to see how they actually executed it and it wasn't really good as well. Ah, oh. <laughs> He wanted it, Winter. He surely did. I think they high ground soon. If they really want to be safe, I guess you one more. You get BKB. More. No, you get BKB and Syla, then you're uh, super safe. That's... He's like 1k away. Yeah, he's actually not that far. And you, you wait for uh, BKB and the on Sila, then Aegis on Sila, and, and then, then you, you go. Push. And this is yeah. LGD. Even, like without shell, roll, like even without Shell. Even without Shell. RTK is just trying to honor his legacy. Though in a very different and much bolder way. I mean, Fnatic doesn't attack. have much other plays to make though. They can't take a fa uh, face on fight. They can only just grab and try to get pick us here and there. Has so they're gonna force like them attack. to go back to top, at least you know. Radiance top tower. I think they're okay with that. They've already bought back the king or brought back the king fame. Well, altering core agonims. Gonna have it soon too. Black hoofing it back, but they are hunting. Moving MMY forward, he Arctic burns his way up, but he can't quite get a range. Still, Mushi in the trees. Trapped out, blink call. That's a slight miss by RTK. Now he'll get no picked up by the Yules. Can they focus him? Guns there, curse as well, and see a Mushi. Get ready to get the whole team, all pile of gold. BKB dodging. Laguna. And then a chop for good measure. That's a spicy way to slice up Mushi. He's extremely tanky versus the Lina. Uh, usually the queen item build doesn't allow her to deal with Lina as well as this build. This build allows you to survive the full combo and get life drain with your sonic wave so you're extremely tanky. It's, it's very hard for them to take down the queen right now. Even if you actually land the full combo from Lina. Well, it's, it's refreshing to see ROTK have such a <laughs> dominant game after a conversation last game. I'm sure he's feeling a lot better right now. I mean, his, his draft is a lot better as well this game. Even though we were talking about maybe they could have went for the SD, which is better than... Like, but overall, the idea is about the same, what they had against the Brood. Well, look at how tanky he is! Man, the Brood can't even kill him. I got the track out there, hunting. Shadow Strike coming through, pop all committed, DJ. Forced to TP. Stun. Stun. Oh, close. No interest curse. Shuriken just out of range. And no other creeps around there to actually get the bounce off. Good effort, though. They grab their Vlads, Roshan coming, and just yeah, a few they want minutes. they want to end the game now with the Vlads, BKB. Does he go for BKB? No, he actually has Butterfly plus MKB. Is he going for the BM Rapier? Oh, uh, I guess you can go for Rapier. Don't really need MKB. You get Aegis, you is, get Rapier. Is there Medallion on the like a Solar Crest on Dazzle or something? Does he actually need the MKB? Mm, Not exactly. Nope. Yeah, he can go for Rapier plus Aegis and Gyro and end the game. They're not really secure in their group yet, though. So I mean, in LG you still have to play E Home, still have to play Secret. You finish bottom, you finish third or fourth, and I mean, at this point, quite certain they're not going to be in the eliminated from the group stage. But then you still have you start in the lower bracket in the, the playoffs. That is not where you want to be. And I think that first round is BO1 as well. So I don't know if BM is necessarily in the cards. Why, why, why is it BM? You get Rapier plus A. You want to end the game. You don't need to end the game now. MKB does the job just fine. Yeah, but you have AJ, so why not? It's flashy. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, if it's flashy, it's a little BM. You're doing it to, to show off, to rub it in. Yeah, but it's not exactly BM. Like, I, I can see the idea why you Okay, if, if when I say BM, I mean like it's unnecessarily risky. Because oh, oh, you're BM doesn't mean bad manner. It does, but doing something that's unnecessarily risky just to be flashy is a little bad-mannered, because you're basically saying we can fuck around a little bit and still win the game. 
right? It's not like fully BM. It's not like getting like a Dagon 5 or something. It's like sort of BM. Like 5 out of 10. Okay. He's, he's not getting it anyway. <laughs> I had this whole discussion about a rapier that's not even being purchased. <laughs> Mm. Yeah, I understand your point. They don't need the damage, and even though it, he has the AE, but he just wants to be conservative, I guess. You don't want to throw the lead. Take down, big boy, grab their agents. They may want to just push up top before they go. Yep, that's the play. Maybe now with that delightful 30 second queen of pain ult, so you can constantly clear out the waves. So where do you go from here? Octarine Core Eggs, what is actually the build after? You get Shivers, so you're even more tanky. Isn't he tanky enough? Yeah, he is actually. <laughs> you got Hex, I guess. Oh no, 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 Dagon. You have Octarine Core. To reduce cooldown. Yeah. That could be it. Oh, they found DJ. Blinking in, they get the stream off. Now the track's committed. They squash the spider. And I think now LGD. You can see in those lanes of Rex. And their spotlight. Straight over to mid. So unless something catastrophic happens, Winter, LGD will win this game. What is cat what how catastrophic it is? Like how can they ever happen? Quintuple fountain feed. They, a, they have to run down the fountain with, with a heroes. BOT dieback. No, they on the gyro. If they had the rapier plus the Aegis and you did the fountain dive, maybe you might lose. I think they would still win, honestly. <laughs> Nah, if you drop the rapier, maybe you, you might lose. I think their draft could be down like 5 10k gold. It's still a decent chance this is a team fight. He continues. Ohio almost died to Flathead, and he will maybe. Guns him down from distance with the ult. BKB casually purchased, and they keep on going in. LGD looking a little bit revitalized here as they are about to take down the mid lane. They're going to swing on towards mid. Fnatic helpless against the onslaught. Likely. Going to be tying the series one to ones, which would mean both SCA teams okay showing so far, taking ties, but it's going to be looking like dominant or even a, a lock to get into that upper bracket as of yet. So, so I think we have one point out of four. Out of a possible, well, one out of a possible six. Yeah, one out of Chop one, DJ, you're next. Oh, couldn't even chop him in time. And then the GG's called. So, Fnatic in the end. They took game one, Winter. They will drop game two. They tie 1-1. One, one. Not That's a respectable result here, but... Both games, a, a win is both just, games you really need the wins in the Both games were really yeah. lost because of the jump, though. Like, the first game we saw LGD use a really, like, questionable lineup as well. With the, like, the Pogma. I mean, the Slada was a nice tool against AM, but then they had the Pogma, which... Which is weird, because it, it took away the safe lane farm. Slada didn't have enough, like protection for his early game and then this game we saw Fnatic picking I mean the brute was so, like obviously they open with the brute but then they didn't have a carry that suited the lineup they have right now I Haska, agree Haska was like not the hero that they needed this game maybe you could argue if the opponent doesn't have a lineup that counters Haska that much the Haska might work with their lineup but definitely not this game Haska was very susceptible to too many stuff that LGD has in this game and he didn't even have a good laning phase. Dazzle was like, oh, okay, I'm not actually helping you in this lane. <laughs> I'm ditching at the start. And Haska, without a good start, is just a hero that doesn't you know, help the team much. He doesn't offer too much. Agreed. So, guys, with that, that is going to wrap up this game. Fnatic now sitting 1-3 and three in the group. LGD 3-1, and one, but lots of Dota still to be played here. Coming up next, we have another match. Actually, I'm not sure what it is off the top of my head. You nice. Know? The match that you're going to do with Lysander. Oh, okay. I know, not you. Actually, I think Lumi and Lysander. No, I'm doing one more game. But oh, I might be. I'm going over there. I you're think. going down there. Yeah, I'm, they're coming I'm up. Being thrown over to the main to stream. the wolves. The wolves. The angry wolves. You're being shown to the frogs. Yeah. <laughs> to the bullfrogs. <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks for watching. He's Winter. I'm LD. Follow Matt Winter Dota. Myself at LD Dota. We'll be back for two more rounds of games before day one of Nanyuns in the book. Stay tuned. Four matches at the same time. Never mind. Uh, crazy stuff's going down. But yeah, we'll see you soon.